Welcome to Let's Talk About Health, an informational podcast that gives you insights on health and fitness from experts themselves that you can apply directly to your own personal health and fitness stories. Come join me today to hear all about what they have to say on health and fitness. Well, welcome to this first episode of Let's Talk About Health by Bhavna hosted on the Clinically Press Co-op Podcast Network. We are here to introduce Let's Talk About Health and your host. And so with that, I will turn it over to you to fill in your background about just everything that brought you to starting Let's Talk About Health. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I, um, I'm i Bhavna. I'm, I'm a physical therapist. I'm working here in New York. And let's talk about health. Actually, I wanted to do, um, I have a lot of seniors and a lot of mentors. And I am today who I am because of those mentors that uh, play a very crucial role in my life. They taught me such important values, even if it's the smallest detail. And I always wanted a platform where you could talk and learn and you could connect people, uh, especially with so many different um, allied healthcare services that we see today, uh, be it physical therapy, occupational therapy, music therapy, exercise therapy, there, you name it. And it's, it's important for um, you. So I was, um, it just came to me that I want to just talk about health. And um, I was uh, doing it with uh, someone else that really liked my, um, they, I did, um, what do you call it, a seminar for students mm-hmm. in India, how they can come to US and pursue their masters and get their license exam for physical therapy. Sure. So he really liked my work. So I was like, I want to do a talk show. And we were doing the details, something fit, it didn't fit. And um, then I was going to name it Tea Time, some something like that, like Tea Time with Bhavna, or I still have my tea. Fair so, enough. Uh, but or coffee, it's like, let's talk uh, about health over coffee. But um, I was just procrastinating it. Um, this was starting on this year, and then I was like, "What you doing?" Just one, two, three, let's just do it. And I approach the people I had already approached five, six months back and um, I got connected to them. And I was like, if I set a date and time, that's it. Even I cannot back out from there. So I just started doing that. And Instagram has been amazing because you just hit one button and everyone can watch you, everyone can learn and listen to what you have to say. So let's talk about health is just to talk about what you feel about health. It can be good, it can be bad, it can be so many things, so many views. And I'm talking to so many people and I'm learning so much more. So I hope it helps everyone on a global level. So. That's all about let's talk about health. Awesome. How do you or who do you select to interview? Just knowing from the back end and seeing a few of the different ones from your Instagram, it's it's a wide range of, you know, specialties, like you said, and different practitioners. How do you go about selecting those people? Uh, so most of them have inspired me by they are work that I've already seen um, in my college or they were my professors, they're entrepreneurs. Uh, they work in therapies that I never imagined would play such a crucial role today. So I always, um, um, well, I was just inspired by their work. And if for me, inspiration is very important. If mm-hmm. I'm inspired, I want to do, I want to talk. I want to learn more or just connect. 
So I was inspired by all of those people and they're doing amazing in their field. They're experts. If you just watch their episodes, there's so much. You can see my mind being blown away listening to yeah. what they're talking. So um, it's just simple. If something inspires you, you go for it. I like it. <laughs> Who would you say is the type of audience that might get the most benefit from listening to Let's Talk About Health? I think um, so my focus was medical field or people who are in medicine. It could be anything. Um, I am planning a few exciting artsy uh, therapists to get them on the platform as well. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's it's one body, it's one health and so many different views. So. Um, I think anyone who is uh, related to medicine or in, they're dealing with medical, be it allied sciences, be it occupational therapy, um, there's so many more, you know, uh, fields to it. But it's just because they will understand the technical terms. Mm -hmm. But if not, if you just see the episodes, they're plain and simple. They're all also, I... I wanted to bring a personal touch because I have known these people for years yeah. and I wanted to know what their experience is, what, how did they accomplish um, at this level. So I wanted to keep it a little personal. So at anyone who is a medical, um, who is a medical, who is a non-medical will definitely benefit from just listening to the podcast. So all genders, all um, age, for sure. <laughs> all uh, background, all careers. Mm -hmm. So one of the questions you asked me, and I had to figure <laughs> out how to answer it, uh, is what is your definition of health? <laughs> so um, I don't know, a lot of people don't know this about me, but I was a biology teacher back in India. I taught uh, ninth and 10th grade for almost five years. Okay. And yes. And this was the first statement that I started with. Definition of health, it's physical, mental, and social fitness. If you're physically fit, if you're mentally fit, and if you're socially a well in well-being, then you're fit. So that's health for me. The three aspects, complete package. If you're lacking one aspect, that means you're not healthy. So I like that. Mm -hmm. So going off of that, this might be kind of an obvious question, but I'll see if you got more to elaborate <laughs> on this. What is the best advice you have for people on their health journey? And in addition to that, for people that are maybe just starting out, want to you know focus on those three things and kind of jump start things to get going i i always say and this is the mantra that i use myself start by starting you know we always procrastinate we always we're just at at the at you know we're just scared to uh even to be fit to be very honest, when I used to, when I started to go to the gym, I was scared. I was like, will I be perfect at my squats? Will I be good? Will I be this? Will I be that? And I was just scared. Oh, what if, you know, people look at me, I'm doing something funny. But I was like, let's just start. Let's start by starting. So if you're scared, if you're um, just, I read a quote that really inspired me. It said, when you're the most scared, that means that's when you have to jump. So all you have to do is one, two, three, jump. So I was like, one, two, three, jump. And that's how I actually started this whole concept. I was like, okay, it's time to jump. So let's count one, two, three, jump. I like it. I feel like we've heard a lot of, <laughs> of similar advice across our careers. Mm -hmm. um, and then kind of final question, uh, just to kind of introduce, let's talk about health is what does sharing all this information and this platform mean to you? We are a community. We don't realize that how much knowledge we give and take 
one another, how much network we're giving and taking from one another, how much um, people are helping, uh, are being helped out, how much awareness is being created. I was talking back home and I have younger cousins, nieces and nephews. They're like, you know what? I want to do what she's doing and I want to go and help and I want to see where this leads me. And I was like, you're just kids. You'll have your whole life to figure out what you want to do. But it was just that time that I realized that something that inspires me, will, there are chances that it, it inspires everyone else. So let's just take use the platform and use your connections, use your uh, skill to help connect and be a good community to create more awareness and just network. I like it. Well, we're excited to have you be a part of Cognitive Press and really glad that we connected. But if people want to reach out to you, connect with you, obviously follow along, not only, you know, following this on podcast platforms and YouTube, but um, all the other things that you put out, where would be the best place to do that? Instagram, Facebook, or email. All three are good. So on Instagram, you can reach me out at bhavna.devnani. Um, Facebook, same, Bhavna Devnani, And Gmail, same, bhavnadevnani9 at gmail.com. We'll, we'll just put in the information at the end. Yep. But Instagram, Facebook, and email, anything should work. Awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to getting all of the previous ones you've recorded and ones in the future out to just help share everything that you're doing and the incredible practitioners that you've connected with. And again, thank you for being a part of Clinically Press. We're looking forward to it. And I want to take a minute and just thank you and Clinically Press Co-op for giving me this chance to um, not a lot of people see what um you know uh what you saw so it's it's um it's been hard to connect i'm not gonna say it's just one two three jump and everything is easy it's nope. definitely hard the journey is hard but getting an opportunity and you taking the time and initiative to um help to push me ahead through the process it it means a lot and i'm so 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 happy and proud to be a part of clinically press co-op so thank you thank you and we all look forward to the next episode thank you for listening to our talk about health you can follow me on instagram at bhavna.devnani on facebook at bhavna devnani and we'll leave all the information in the description below thank you